Hello everyone, I'm Matthew Optimus. I hope you do I hope you're doing well and welcome back to my channel. And I would I would love to, to discuss about last night's Monday Night Raw from the calendar I have on here right now from October 22nd from last night. And I just saw an, an emotional highlight video on YouTube of Roman Reigns forfeiting his title because he, he has leukemia again. <clears throat> Henceforth, it was an emotional uh Emotional temporary goodbye. He he said he'll be coming back. He said he will beat the the leukemia, but it might not. It, it, I, I just sometimes leukemia can kill you. It's, it's a, there's a slight chance that he might not fight it in time. He might die from it maybe, but if he if he feels better, then I I know he'll be back. So wish him wish him the best of luck of his of his recovery and his uh, fight against leukemia against his leukemia, and I hope he feels better. Um, <clears throat> during, th there was a, during, a, there was a, uh, a segment between Elias and B Baron Corbin and Baron Corbin, uh, uh, turned off his, uh, was ordered the guys to turn off the mic on, on Elias and then Elias was forced to leave and then Elias hit him with, 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 with a guitar turning baby face. He's finally a baby, baby face now. Um, which is good. I haven't seen him be, I haven't, uh, all I know that he was a heel and now he's a baby face now because he attacked the general manager because he wouldn't let him perform his guitaring. I mean, yeah, there's, there's, yeah, yeah, he has a show to run, but you know, the way he treated Elias was a little off, I guess. Oh, sorry. Take that. And then there was a match between Sasha Banks and Ruby Riot, and I think Sasha Banks got screwed because of, uh, uh, chaos outside the ring between Bailey and Natasha and Liv and Sarah, and then and and then I saw the Alicia Fox and uh, Mickey James try to uh, take down uh, um, Trish Stratus and, and Lita, but they managed to gain the upper hand. And Alicia Fox and Mickey James were, were were down. You know, it was it was it was backstage when it happened. Then Paul Heyman was uh, praising Roman Reigns for the courage for his courage, and then Braun Strowman told. Came out and then telling him he's gonna get these. He said that Brock Lesnar is gonna get these hands at Crown Jewel. Then Drew McIntyre just showed up and kicked kicked him in the face. Then G Generation D Generation X showed up, sh telling everyone that they're not intimidated by what they saw last week. Then the then the Undertaker and Kane were on a video showing that showing their graves and, and sh uh, shoveling dirt in their in, in, in their graves and all that. It's just so weird. Um. And I think, and I and I saw Finn, and I heard that Finn Balor beat Bobby Lashley, which is which is pretty good. Um, and then Titus, Titus O'Neil was doing a was doing a Cancer Awareness Month thing with nine women or six women or something with a couple of women's titles, I think. Down to down to breast cancer. Breast cancer must go. And then during a contract contract signing between Nikki Bella and Ronda Rousey, Nikki Bella slapped her, but Ronda Rousey wasn't even phased by it. And Ronda told her that she was going to end Nikki Bella. And she said that she had, she had she, you have my word. But uh, I think that was that was it. And then Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose finally became Raw Tag Team Champions, finally defeating Drew McIntyre and Dolph Ziggler. And then out of the blue, Dean Ambrose became an evil became an evil lunatic by betraying Seth Rollins. It was kind of sad just just because they when they when Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins hugged Roman Reigns earlier early in, in the show I saw Seth Rollins with tears I never saw him cry like that before but I bet Roman Reigns is going to be disgusted when he found out that Dean Ambrose betrayed him right after they won the tag team championships so how the hell are they going to get along pardon the language sorry so Dean Ambrose has betrayed Seth Rollins and now and they're tag team champions I I I just don't get it. What, what is Dean Ambrose going to do? Forfeit his title next week? Probably so. I mean, I haven't seen Dean Ambrose become heel since the sh since the Shield were heels before Seth, before they, they, they turned on Evolution and Authority before Seth Rollins betrayed Roman and Dean. I, 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 my, guess, my guess is that Dean Ambrose still feels, feels betrayed, I guess, maybe, or possibly because he's the only one without a title, and I, I, I just don't know. It's... Whatever the reason why he attacks Seth Rollins, we'll have to find out next week. Um, I, yeah, it was interesting. It was a very interesting, uh, interesting, interesting event. Now, I, I, I'm not just letting you guys know. I'm not gonna 
record the highlights all the time and give my reviews because sometimes reviews can take too long. And I, I don't want to lose up all my video space. I haven't deleted my other video yet from the video, video gallery on my app. So I think Monday Night Raw was pretty good as usual. Just saying. Um, if you like this review that I made, post your comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and if you like what, if you like it, and you like, and if you like this video, I'm also gonna put a, could have, gonna share this on Facebook too. So if you want to talk to me about it on, on Instagram too as well, um, go ahead and do that. So that's pretty much it. Oh, just to let you know, I, I I went with my special rec program today. We had all of theory, and, and we saw before and before that we saw Goose, Goosebumps too. I thought that movie was okay. I know that's not the that's not I know this has nothing to do with do with the video that I'm doing right now, but I was just giving you some extra bonus stuff. So yeah. I'm Matthew Optimus. Peace the frill out.